Let me start by saying that I wish this governor well, and I am 100 percent, my 100 percent belief is that none of this is personal, and then when someone has either a diagnosis or an illness, that we all stand together for this governor, and I actually consider him a friend, and I think he's a good man. That does not stop us from responding to a presentation that, in my judgment, was a lot of cheerleading, but unfortunately did not address the taxpayer issues of this state. This governor and the Democratic legislature is about to raise taxes over a three-year period that includes a budget that's an 18 percent growth over three years. That's 6 percent a year over three years. $2.2 billion in more spending and six new taxes. One of the taxes is a corporate responsibility tax. What about a taxpayer responsibility program where we're talking to taxpayers, but we're not forcing companies out of this state? This is a tax, this corporate responsibility tax. Only one other state in this nation has this tax. This is between $350 and $550 per employee, meaning when you decide whether to bring a business in this state, you are looking at a super tax on your employees. This is a governor who simply believes that government is the answer to the problems in New Jersey. He completely ignores the fact we're the worst climate for businesses in the nation. There was no discussion at all about any reforms. There was not one iota of any evidence that he believes any reforms need to be made in government. With the exodus in this state, how do you not address the tax climate? Somehow he believes that he's addressing property tax relief. I don't understand where or when he's done that. This is clearly a speech which he's talking to simply people who believe government is the answer to everything in a state where people are leaving. I'm going to turn this over to our budget officer, Hal Worth. Can we ask questions? Oh, please. What is the evidence that our business climate is so bad, given the stats they're throwing around about job creation compared to neighboring states and compared to the country? Well, NJBIA put out a statement today, and they represent hundreds of businesses in the state that all the statistics have shown that this is a terrible business climate. I think every survey that's been done puts us in the, in the five worst business climates in the, in the country. Do you think your economy is being suffering? Uh, the answer is yes, and here's why. An economy is somehow tied to a national economy. New Jersey clearly is doing relatively well because the nation's doing relatively well. But if you ask business leaders in this state whether this government is concerned about the business climate, bring me those business leaders who will tell you that government in New Jersey is concerned about doing business in New Jersey. Clearly, clearly when you have low unemployment and you have low employment in the region and the nation, I, I can't give that credit to Governor Murphy. When you speak to average people in the state, what is their concern? I can't afford to live here. Businesses are deeply concerned about regulation. They're deeply concerned about taxes. Simply because there's evidence of low unemployment, uh, I, I, I don't give that credit to this governor. Where are you on cigarette tax? Absolutely against cigarette tax. And because we're competing with Pennsylvania. So all those businesses on the border are simply going to be hurt. And those people who want the cigarettes are driving across the border. This is an historic problem in New Jersey, where we tax our small, small businesses basically out of business. Yeah, uh, Thanks. Uh, as a uh, new budget officer, I also wish my uh, best uh, to the governor, and uh, sure hope him uh, gets well quickly. And um, I know what it's like to be on the other side. My wife was at cancer's fire, so we sure wish him well. But his policies are just wrong. I mean, spending going up 18 percent is just absurd. There's nobody, no resident or citizen whose budget goes up 18 percent in a three-year period and has six new taxes 
is just unacceptable. And, you know, where we live in a tri-state area, most of these products that they can, you know, they're also taxing medication, you're taxing income tax, and you're taxing the corporate tax. You know, in my prior job, you always hear from business, we're looking to see what New Jersey does. And as the leader said, we constantly rate 48th, 49th, or 50th as the worst place to do business. And the chickens will come home to roost. There's no question that the national economy is a boom for New Jersey. And the unemployment numbers, I know them better than anybody. They can change and go up and down. They're benchmarked, and we all want low unemployment. But unfortunately, this is a state where everybody has to work just to survive, and multiple family members have to work. Your labor force participation rate is high because everybody has to work in order to pay the high cost of of living and you know we're usually being number one is a is a good thing but in too many of the taxes as the leader said and a new tax on a corporate responsibility tax which is a real fancy word for a new corporate tax i guess that's just going when only one other state has it it shows you how anti-business that that we are and i'm going to look forward to when working in and um, trying to recommend some, some cuts here. I do commend the governor on the surplus and putting money aside, but we have to do better in this business um, environment. Each New Jerseyan owes $61,000 in debt, and there's nothing in here, no additional money, despite what the speech said. All that pension payment was was an early pension payment for the other part of the 2021 budget. So the, the pension, before we do anything, we should be paying our debt. That's what most good businesses would do, what most good citizens would do. And here we're increasing spending 18% in three years and leaving this debt that is a burden of $61,000 on everybody. So I look forward to working with the, the administration and uh, my friends on the other side of the aisle to come up with a more fiscally conservative budget. And if they don't think people think this place is expensive, then they're not out in the real world talking to people. You know, anyone who talks to me, this is an expensive place to live and it's getting more and more expensive. And the biggest issue with the millionaire's tax on the income tax, that is a very volatile measure. Uh, you know, they, people can move in and out and to use that based on any sort of budget planning. It's just is a, is a mistake. He said the number of 22,000 and, you know, who knows, maybe it'll be 10,000 by the time this thing is done. But they own multiple homes. They can leave and go anywhere that they um, and want. And you lose one David Tepper and he can make up for dozens and dozens and dozens of new millionaires of what he paid in income tax when he left to go to Florida a few years ago. So I'm just very, very disappointed, as the leader said, that there isn't any reform. There's nothing in here to make it more affordable for New Jersey businesses or New Jersey citizens, and it's very disappointing. Let me make this one point clear. This is the kind of budget that got us in the mess to begin with. I'm going to say that one more time. This is the kind of budget that got us in the mess to begin with. Lots of spending, lots of new taxes. If we don't stop these old school budgets and start to really enact reforms, this state will continue to go down the path of bankruptcy. And you recall what Governor uh, Cody, right, Cody said, we're not bankrupt, but we're close. And I can tell you right now, this governor is ignoring the words of acting Governor Cody uh, maybe seven, eight years ago. So happy to answer any other questions. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks.